Hello everyone, today we have this footage right here of a football and we will create that. So in this video I will use a different method for contrast and so let's get started. First node will be our temperature node and the second node rec 709. First we will apply rec 709 so we can later adjust the temperature or white balance after rec 709 node. So go into the effects, color space transform, input color space we will choose as gamut Sony as gamut 3 and input gamma I will choose as log 2 output color space will be x709 and x709a now we can adjust the temperature we can see a little bit of blue in the grass and here also in the highlights thrown both here now we'll create another node which will be contrast node. In this video I will use different method for contrast. I will go into STR color wheels and for shadows I will decrease the exposure and in the light area I will increase the light. Make sure I don't clip here because the clipping areas are these. So no one about here. make sure to not touch the downline of the shadows so why am i doing this in HDR mode because uh, this will only increase the contrast without touching the saturation of our image let me do that in color wheel so let's go here and decrease our lift and increase the highlights so now you can see the difference this is in our primary wheels and this is from STR wheels you can see uh, in HDR wheels only contrast is increased not saturation but if we increase this contrast in primary wheels there is also increase in the saturation of the image so that's why I chose HDR color wheels now next part will be saturation so one method today we will use uh, will be these colors hue versus hue I will pinpoint each color so we will increase the red towards here and for yellows I will go into here what's the saturation curve so this curve will increase the saturation of each individual hue for example red this will be the amount of red in that color so I will try to increase that to this much and for this yellow I will increase it too and for this green part I will increase that too so these areas are for grass I will increase that too now I will move into the hue versus luma so brightness of each singular color I will adjust them carefully going one by one for this part we are done so now we will create next node which will be look node we will achieve that by going into primary wheels so these are shadows and these are midtones and these are highlights so our midtones are pretty much fall in green and red and shadows are these so they will be they will be black and these are highlights so if we increase the gamma towards red and green and decrease the left towards blue around about here so you can see I increase the gamma between red and green around about here so there is also a little bit of green in the shadows here to remove the green effect in our shadows we will move this towards the opposite direction so it will cancel out the any extra green hue in the shadows so this is it make sure don't push it too far I want to keep the highlights so you can see there are a little bit of highlights in the grass also so I'll move it towards a little bit of green around about here so this is pretty much it now we will adjust the any extra colors in the shadows midtones and in the highlights so we will go into our color section we'll try to decrease the blue a little bit in the highlights and in the shadows also for green we will decrease green in the highlights you can see now we can see a little bit clean highlights 
and decrease green share in the shadows for red also we will do the same decrease in highlights and the shadows I will decrease them too I will pinpoint uh, mid-tones decrease it decrease this to on what here so this is before uh, the look node and this is after the look we still can see green in our footage so I will create a next node with this node we will try to desaturate the highlights in the shadows in our footage so there are two methods that we can do that either we can go into luma versus saturation and select these points and try to decrease this node saturation zero so this is the highlight and these are the shadows we will decrease this also to zero so if you can see there will be a little bit of uh, change in our footage you can see here in the graph if I disable and enable it so we will not use this one we will use another it will, we will go into str mode and decrease this saturation in the shadows so we will decrease that you can you will notice here in the shadow of football how it's affecting our footage so now you can see these are clean blacks if I undo that and decrease it again so now you can notice that we will also go into dark and decrease the saturation and same we will do for the highlights we will try to decrease the saturation so this method is used to get the clean highlights and clean shadows so but using this our footage will be a little bit uh, desaturated because I increase the I decrease the highlights to about here so I will create another node I will go into a curve and I will select uh, two points on each arrows and highlights for each curve and make the adjustments make sure the mid tones are in one place we will change that one by one so what this do this will restore the saturation of our footage so first we will adjust the shadows yeah so you can see the difference that we made I will also show in the final image so this is the difference that we made we added a little bit of saturation in our footage that we lost before during this so this is how, how our footage looks so what this node is doing it's adding the saturation and uh, this one is desaturating our footage in the highlights and the in the shadows so this is how our final image look like this is it if you have any question you can ask me related to any node uh, if you don't understand why I used any effect or something and I will answer you right away thanks for being here and please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.